The next guy on the list is the motion effector. And in order to demonstrate, I'm going to click on the preset browser. And from here, I'm going to click on nodes. And over here, I'm going to click on field. And from here, I'm going to choose this guy, follow. Let's replace everything that we have so far. And let's go to the beginning and first press play to see what we have. So we can see that we have some sort of a light which makes actually the particle dance along the path that is moving. So I'm going to first go to the light over here, just going to double click on it, change it to a point light. It doesn't really matter in this case. I just think it is easier to follow this axis. And then I'm going to return and select the solid just so you'll see what we have over here. So first I'm going to select the motion, which is this guy over here and switch it off. I'm also going to switch off the turbulence just so we can get a sense of how this preset was made. So we have a sphere emitter, which is generating particles. It's starting from a huge number of 5,300 particles and then slowly coming to zero. So we have this kind of an animation. Then we have particles, which is using the circle shapes and probably under particle properties, we are using some color gradient over here in order to colorize them. So this is the basic setup. Then we are using the turbulence tool in order to create this kind of flowing particles all around the place. So this is the basic setup. Now let's say that we want to create an additional movement. For this, you can use the motion tool. So once again, I'm going to collapse everything enable the motion and you can see that you can apply different motion types so for example you can apply a circular path a sign path a bounce and a look at we are going to take a look at the bounce in a moment but the look at is a little bit too advanced to this basic tutorial anyhow i'm going to use this light path so if i'm going to scroll up select the stardust light which was part of the preset and press E, E in sequence, we can see that this light is basically using the wiggle expression. Currently, two cycles and 600 pixels. And let's just change it. Let's make it slower. So one cycle, and let's almost double it, maybe even more to 1500 pixels all over the place. Once I'm going to click out and approve it, and also select the light, let's go to the beginning, and press spacebar in order to create a RAM preview, you can see that the light is moving and the movement of the light is affecting our particles. And basically this is it. If you want, you have additional controls over here. You can tell it which of the lights to use. So in this case, all lights, but you can rename your lights and tell it to use only the specific values. You can also change the speed, the random. You can create some sort of a delay and you can control the motion over life with those graphs that you've seen before. Remember that you have presets for those graphs, so try to use them before creating your own. It will just save you some time. So now if I'm going to go back to the beginning, press spacebar and just change the light settings. For example, let's give it maybe a not so far away distance, bring it back to you know its original state, making it work a little bit more faster we can create these sophisticated animations very, very quickly. I also want to remind you that if you want to enable motion blur, go to the Stardust effect and under render settings, under motion blur, just switch it on from here and this will create this kind of look. Now, I want to discuss another thing over here, which is the bounce model that we've seen in the motion type. And in order to illustrate how this works, once again, you guessed it, I'm going to start with the preset. And this is the best way to learn this tool. Just investigate those presets. For example, under the nodes, you have almost every kind of preset available for you to look at. In this example, I'm going to go under the grid and I'm going to choose this bounce preset, replace everything that I already have over here, go to the beginning and press spacebar in order to see the result. And by the way, we have this leftover of a light, which we are actually don't need anymore. So I'm just going to say goodbye to it. And once again, press spacebar in order to show you the bounce model. So this is what it does. It will create an extra bounce for these grid particles based on the amplitude, frequency, decay, 
bouncing second and all the other properties which will become available as soon as you select it from the pull down menu so once again you can reverse engineer it you can see how this is going to affect and just to prove how easy it is i'm going to change the decay amount as well as the frequency and just like that we will have a completely different bouncing animation of those particles